AutoLine Daily is brought to you by Bridgestone, passion for excellence. Here are today's top headlines. Car sales in the U.S. fall off at a scary rate. Chris Bangle shocks the automotive design community, and Arvin Meritor comes up with a diesel hybrid heavy-duty truck. Up next, we'll be back with the news behind the headlines. This is AutoLine Daily for Wednesday, February 4, 2009, and now the news. Last month, car sales in the American market dropped to their lowest in over a quarter of a century, and the drop-off is frightening. Total sales came to only 655,000 units, according to Wards, down 40% from a year ago and a 26% drop from the month before. On an annualized basis, the sales rate is down to only 9.5 million units. Indeed. The AP reports that sales in the U.S. dropped off so much that China surpassed it to become the biggest automotive market in the world, at least for the month. Chrysler, General Motors, and Suzuki saw their sales fall by more than 50% in the American market, but Hyundai saw sales rise nearly 10% thanks to its assurance program where buyers can walk away from their car loan if they lose their job. Subaru saw sales rise nearly 4% and Jaguar was up 13%. And maybe this will help change these sales around. The U.S. Senate approved legislation to make the interest paid on car loans tax deductible. Autoblog reports that writing off the interest on car loans should amount to an annual savings of roughly $1,500 for a car costing twenty-five dollars Influential and controversial car designer Chris Bangle is leaving BMW after almost 17 years with the company. He's departing to pursue design-related endeavors outside the automotive industry. Bangle is probably best known for the trunk design on the 7 Series, which became derisively known as the Bangle Butt. It's Adrian Van Hoydunk who will take over design at BMW, and interestingly, it was Adrian who actually came up with the Bangle Butt. Arvin Meritor presented Walmart with a prototype hybrid diesel heavy-duty truck. Powered by lithium-ion batteries, the truck can travel up to 48 miles an hour with just the electric motor. The hybrid drivetrain was developed in collaboration with Navistar and Cummins. Collectively, in the U.S., truck fleets spend about $111 billion on diesel fuel, and obviously a diesel hybrid would help cut way into those numbers. Automotive News reports that Maybach has the highest appreciation rates of any car on the market. During the first year of ownership, a new Maybach 62S loses $183,000 off its half a million dollar sticker price. That's a 39% drop in the span of a year. The Rolls-Royce Phantom, by comparison, only loses about $100,000 for 24%. You know, it's not easy being rich. Coming up next, it's time for You Said It. Changing tires out here could be dangerous, but with these tires, I don't need to worry. Bridgestone. And now it's time for some of your feedback. This is You Said It. You know, every day we get a lot of comments and questions from you, our viewers. You Said It gives me a chance to respond. Howard Rometta wrote in to comment on our report that governments around the world are looking at offering cash for anyone who turns in an old clunker and buys a new fuel-efficient car. We noted that Texas already has a similar program, but the old cars have to be at least 10 years old and have failed an emissions test. I commented that most of those kinds of buyers do not buy new cars, and Howard wrote in and said, you know, I agree with John. Anyone driving a car that's at least 10 years old will not be buying a new car. They are used car people. But Tom Kane doesn't agree. That's ludicrous, he says. Why would you assume that someone driving a 10-year-old plus vehicle not buy a new one? Some of us like to get full value out of our purchases. I'm driving a 14-year-old Chevy truck that's pretty much worn out. I'm about to buy a new one to replace it. I expect to drive the new one that long as well. And then Derek wrote in with a clever comment on how to game the system. As I think about it, he says, I'm kind of liking the clunker clause. 
I'm in the market for a new people mover for my growing family, so I'd be happy to go to Joe's used car sales down the road and drop $300 on an old Ford Escort, only to trade it in on the Chrysler Town & Country EV due out in 2010. I'd gladly let the government take the hit on the new car. Otherwise, it's a one or two year old Sienna for us. You know, our report on the Cash for Clunkers program generated a lot of comments and you can still get in on the debate. We've just implemented a brand new way of sending us a video or audio comment. Just click on the You Set It link in the sidebar of the AutoLine Daily page and you'll see how to leave us a video or audio comment. Check it out, it's pretty cool. And don't forget, we've got an event coming this Friday you will not want to miss. We're hosting a live webcast with Ellen Hughes Cromwick, the chief economist at Ford. She'll give us the company's forecast for how the company will do this year and a lot more. You'll be able to post comments and questions during the interview, so start thinking about what you'd like to ask. Again, this live webcast is Friday at noon Eastern Standard Time or 1700 Greenwich Mean Time on both of our websites, AutolineDaily.com or AutolineDetroit.tv. And that's it for the top news in the global automotive industry. Thanks for watching. We'll see you tomorrow. Visit our website for even more great content all week long. AutoLine Extra, Don's Journal, Podcasts, and even more. So click over and get the inside view at AutoLineDetroit.tv.